Treatment of tibial shaft fractures in adults. The lower leg is made up of two bones, the tibia and fibula. The tibia is the larger of the two bones. It supports most of your weight and is an important part of both the knee joint and ankle joint. Tibial shaft fracture are the most common long bone fracture. In the event of a tibia fracture, the fibula is often broken as well. Initial treatment is stabilization of the fracture is accomplished with a long leg posterior splint. Ice and elevation minimize swelling and along with analgesics, help to control pain. These treatments continue for 48 to 72 hours or until definitive management begins. Close monitoring during the initial treatment phase must allow doctors to detect any emerging compartment syndrome or change in neurovascular status. Immediate antibiotics should be administered within three hours for all open tibia fractures. In addition, tetanus vaccination status should be confirmed and appropriate prophylaxis should be administered if necessary. All open tibia fractures require an emergent surgical debridement within 12 to 24 hours of injury. Definitive Treatment Closed well-aligned non-displaced tibial shaft fractures may be definitively treated with a long leg cast. Certain patients who may be non-ambulatory or those unfit for surgery can also be treated non-surgically. The acceptable alignment criteria are, less than 5 degrees varus valgus angulation, less than 10 degrees anterior posterior angulation, greater than 50% cortical apposition, less than 1 cm shortening, less than 10 degrees rotational malalignment. Most fractures cause some swelling for the first few weeks. Your doctor may initially apply a splint to provide comfort and support. Once the swelling goes down, your doctor will change the splint to a full cast. A long leg cast is applied that incorporates the knee and ankle joint, thus preventing excess motion above and below the fracture. The cast extends from the metatarsal heads to the upper thigh. The ankle is positioned in neutral with no dorsal or plantar flexion. Knee position allows up to 5 degrees of flexion, Serial radiographs are obtained at weekly follow-up visits to identify any loss of reduction or change in position. The patient progress gradually to partial and then full weight bearing when an evidence of satisfactory bone healing occurs on radiograph. Most non-displaced tibial shaft fractures heal within 10 to 14 weeks. If long leg casting fails to achieve or maintain adequate reduction, the patient needs operative intervention. Surgery may also be recommended for certain types of fractures, including, open fractures, soft tissue injury that will not tolerate casting, fractures that have not healed with non-surgical treatment, fractures with many bone fragments and a large degree of displacement, ipsilateral limb injury, called floating knee, polytrauma, and bilateral tibia fractures. Currently, the method most surgeons use for treating tibia fractures is intramedullary nailing. During this procedure, a specially designed metal rod is inserted into the canal of the tibia. The rod passes across the fracture to keep it in position. The intramedullary nail is screwed to the bone at both ends. This keeps the nail and the bone in proper position during healing. Intramedullary nailing provides strong, stable, full-length fixation. Internal fixation with plates and screws. During this operation, the bone fragments are first repositioned into their normal alignment. They are held together with screws and metal plates attached to the outer surface of the bone. Plates and screws are often used when intramedullary nailing may not be possible, such as for fractures that extend into either the knee or ankle joints. And in tibia fractures in the setting of adjacent implant hardware, for example prior total knee arthroplasty. 
For polytrauma patients or patients with open fractures with soft tissue defects or contamination, we use external fixation. In this type of operation, metal pins or screws are placed into the bone above and below the fracture site. The pins and screws are attached to a frame outside the skin. This device is a stabilizing frame that holds the bones in the proper position so they can heal. Recovery after surgery Following surgery, the patient may start weight-bearing immediately or you may require a period of non-weight-bearing using of crutches or walker. This depends on the severity of the fracture and its location. Physical therapy will help to restore normal muscle strength, joint motion, and flexibility. It can also help you manage your pain after surgery. Most tibial shaft fractures take three to six months to heal completely. Some take even longer, especially if the fracture was open or broken into several pieces or if the patient uses tobacco products.